was real. Again? Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> it's a super uh, cool website as well. No, something else, something different. Uh, it's, uh, so imagine that you go to Barcelona for a weekend. Maybe there's a Hungarian community who really, really wants your grandpa's palinka. Mm -hmm. And then you bring palinka and you sell it to them. And the website manages the transaction. And the other way around. You can bring a Spanish ham and cheese back here to Spanish people who are going to go crazy and love you forever. Mm -hmm. By the way, there is the Airbnb of weddings. Two Hungarian girls put together a startup. Really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like the best introduction to a different uh, culture. You uh, register your wedding on their website and you discuss you know, how much it would be per person and you can sell tickets to your wedding. So you can end up you can end up actually uh, doing a profitable wedding. And it's now a big hit, uh, Times covered it, New York Times as well. They started in Australia. Yeah, our wedding in uh, Cortina? Yes, we're gonna sell tickets. When it comes to car rental, uh, there's also like this free uh, service. You can get a car relatively cheap. Mm -hmm. When you drop it off and pick it up at different locations, you can actually oh, sign up yeah. that you will drive the car from the drop off location to the pick up. Oh, yes. And in between, you use it yes. pretty much for free. This I remember. We were looking for it in Australia, but yeah. then it was too many kilometers to, for yes. our time. So, but if the wedding thing goes well, then you get divorced next month. New wedding. <laughs> No, that's not a good idea. You don't want to repeat the wedding. And you do the no. first one just for yourself. Other places around the world. Actually, Megan pointed out that it may be easier to get married here because we are both foreigners here instead of uh, going through some crazy Polish and very bureaucracy to get married in Italy. My friends from Cortina also decided everything about the wedding. They decided where, when, they let us some. They gave us some freedom about the food. Uh, like yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, yes, even the music we can still choose it. Mountain path that I chose. They said it's not good. <laughs> and another What's one the is that they for the first night or for the wedding? For the, for the wedding. wedding. So. Aww. Well. There's yeah, many. but they choose. They, they also they chose another one. said that there is another one, which yeah. is much nicer. It's more unique location. Yes. So you need to check. Yes. Cortina is not unique enough. No. No, there's many mountain huts in different parts of the valley. So the one that I have thought about, it's on top of a mountain that has view all over the valley. So you can see the village and the mountain in front and around. And they said that that's not good. And instead, they recommended another one, which is a bit behind the hill, let's say. So you don't see the village, but you're surrounded by the mountains. And uh, indeed, online there's uh, pictures of this restaurant, this hut, and the view around, and it is quite magnificent.
What you doing? Nice. With? With uh, sour cream mm. and sugar. Mm. Very Hungarian mm. and Polish. <laughs> Oh, I like this shot. Hey! 